welcome back. I am here with Frank Arnold. He is a part of the Johnson County Johnson County Chamber of Commerce. Um, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. And yourself? I'm doing great. It's great. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, we're we're glad that you all and let us come over. <laughs> um, so you are a director of the chamber, mm -hmm. um, part of the chamber, and you're also a native, of, born and raised in uh, Johnson County. I am. I've grown up there, I guess, <laughs> so to speak, uh, and uh, I've been with this chamber. Uh, Probably one of the original members with it. I mean, over 30 years uh, that I've been with the chamber. Well, that's fantastic. And what got you involved? Uh, my job. Yeah. Uh, my job that I'd done, they wanted us to get involved with our community, and, uh, and so I did, and, uh, and I just stuck with it. I uh, just, uh, I really, it wasn't a chore to me. It was something I wanted to do. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well, good. And it sounds like it. You stuck with it for how long again? How many years? About 31 years. About 31 years. Wonderful. Yeah. So what all does the chamber do for uh, Johnson County? Uh, we uh, have several events. Uh, we just finished up our 4th of July with our fireworks. We sponsor that and do that. That was a great event. The whole county turns out <laughs> Mountain City. Uh, and then we uh, sponsor, of course, we had the election. And we sponsor the return with election, and we get up on the courthouse steps, and we ha uh, hold that event all night long until all, right. all the election returns in. We do that. A couple events we got coming up, oh, in uh, October, October the 1st, we got uh, scarecrows on the street. And uh, they, uh, we get all our businesses to build and erect uh, whatever they want to as a scarecrow, put it in front of their business. And we'll have several, the whole, uh, you got to come over to Mountain City and see this. Uh, they will uh, erect those scarecrows up on the street, and we'll leave them up for 30 days and judge them and pick a winner. And it's very, it's got very competitive. I mean, they really do a good job of it. And then come uh, late October, I think a lot, last of October, we're in Shady Valley. They have what they call a cranberry festival over there that uh, they do. Uh, they got those cranberry bogs mm -hmm. over there and they raise the, the cranberries and they'll have a big festival that community has it in the chamber kind of helps promote that deal uh, and then we wind up this year with our uh, christmas parade right. we'll do our christmas parade one of our main events Brittany, that and the reason i'm here is uh, <laughs> get your cowboy boots on and i like your uh -huh. boots those are nice and come on over <laughs> This weekend, uh, 5th and 6th, September the 5th and 6th, and we're going to rodeo. Uh, we got lots of cowboys and cowgirls that's coming uh, in from all over the country. Uh, it's our annual rodeo. We call it the Mountain Heritage Days uh, Rodeo. Been doing it 26 years. This is our 26th annual rodeo. This year, we've got a bunch of rodeo cowboys and cowgirls coming up out of Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, they've been doing the Knoxville Fair for the last uh, 21 years, I believe, uh, Wes told me. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. Sounds like a good time. So we can expect to see the, the usual um, bull riding, bull bear riding, racing. Uh, that bull riding, now that's just our last thing. We've got to start off we save, gotta start off. Save the slow. best for last. We, st <laughs> we start off slow when we build up this bull riding. <laughs> We start off with, uh, uh, rodeos are very, those, those folks are very patriotic. Mm -hmm. And they'll do the patriotic thing right off the, the bat. It's very family geared, family oriented, uh, clean, fun. And they'll bring all the cowboys and cowgirls dressed in their complete outfits with their boots and their <laughs> hats and the fancy horses and the fancy bridles and the fancy saddles. And, they parade them around, mm -hmm. and of course we just do the patriotic songs and, and different things. So that's kind of starts to show off, and then they'll go right into the events. And probably the first one they have will be the calf roping. Mm -hmm. Everybody's kind of hoping, well, maybe that guy will get that poor little calf to go. <laughs> and uh, uh, they, they, and then they do that, and then they do the bronc riding, and then we finish it up with that bull riding. All oh, right, everyone's you, favorite. Everybody's favorite. They say bull riding is the most dangerous sport that they you can do. Uh, 
uh, of all the sports, whether it be car racing, they don't make any difference, bull riding, that eight seconds, if you can stay on that bull for eight seconds, that's 2,000 pounds of pure muscle that's trying to get you off of it. So, um, with that, and we have a lot, I've done had more than I thought, a lot of local participants that, uh, that bull ride. So if we got anybody out there that wants to uh, bull ride, and I believe you got our contract information, uh, call us, and we'll put you on a bull. What about if me? If you've done it. Can I do it? Can I try? We'll put you on a cat. <laughs> I don't think I want to do either. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix you right up. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be the end of me. Yeah, in, me too. In I'm like not eight milliseconds, no, not even the full, I'm not, full second. I'm not going to do it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a big, it's a big deal. But this is our main fundraiser. This is the Chamber's main fundraiser, and we use these funds for, uh, for different things in the county. We, uh, we try to help our folks, our businesses, and promote them, and, and this is kind of what the Chamber is, uh, is all about. That's, That's why fantastic. I got involved. It's fantastic. Well, it's something that everybody obviously likes. You say you have a packed house every year. Every year. We've been doing this this 26 year, and it really surprises me that every year, Rain or shine, it don't make any difference. They stick right in there. I mean, I've had it to where it's been frog choking rain come down and the people won't leave. They stay and we still do the show. I mean, we still, they we say still do it. That's what umbrellas are for. Yeah, they sit out there well, with their umbrellas they, and they enjoy just, the show. They, they, uh, they stick with it and the Cowboys <laughs> put on a good show. Well, that's fantastic. So tell us when it is. It's this weekend. It's this weekend, September the 5th and 6th. Gates open at 5 o'clock. And the uh, show starts at 8, both nights, Friday and Saturday night. Admission is uh, $10 for uh, adults uh, down to uh, 6 year old and 6 and under, or 6 to 12 is $5 mm -hmm. and 6 and under is free. All right, so. and I see you have a lot of sponsors here on this. I love this flyer. This is very, very, very well done. This is a beautiful flyer. Um, did you actually do some actually someone here in Boone done that did flyer they really? for us. Uh, well, they did print a good shop, job. and I can't tell you which one it is, or I'd, uh, I'd plug in, but they actually done those flyers for us, and they done a good job. They did, and you've got uh, you guys have a lot of um, sponsors. Tell us a little bit about your sponsors. Our sponsors are we got we got our major sponsors, which is listed there, and then we have uh, five categories, I believe, in sponsorship. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lady that uh, sells those sponsorships. The rodeo, by doing this, without our sponsors, we couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. These, this rodeo is very expensive mm -hmm. to bring these guys in here. And so with just the gate coming through with the admission fee that we charge, there'd be no way. We, mm -hmm. wouldn't, even, we wouldn't even make, we'd lose money. So we sell our sponsorships. And then through that, through that money that we raised there, it's paid for. The rodeo is paid for before we ever open the gate. That is fantastic. Yeah, and we we found out that over the years that this is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it this way, if you count on just your gate, then uh, you're not going to make mm -hmm. any money if you make any. And so I want to thank I want to thank all of our sponsors, uh, our major sponsors right down. We got them from a thousand dollar sponsorship to fifty dollar sponsorship. Mm -hmm. don't make a little bit counts. Yet. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Where can we buy tickets online, or you just buy them at the gate? Or? Just buy them at the gate. Uh, we just uh, we just, we don't we don't pre-sell any of our tickets. Now, our sponsors, we give them tickets as part of their sponsorship. We mm -hmm. give them depending on how much they spent in sponsorship, and they get tickets. And then something else we do for our sponsors that's really unique. Thursday night, we fix them all a steak. And we bring our sponsors in with their families, and we we cook for them. We fix them a steak with all the trimmings, <laughs> and we bring these rodeo people in with the rodeo clown and the announcers and all the all these cowboys. And these cowboys are they come from everywhere. They all come from Oklahoma, Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh, they come from all over the country, and they compete points just like they do in their races mm -hmm. and uh, it's, so it's a it's a real good show it's uh, 
it's not only um, uh, we got the local folks, the amateurs, but we got the professionals here too. I mean, they can put on a show for you. That's great, and it's great that you take such good care of your sponsors as well as your community. You know, you're providing this wonderful event that they oh, yeah. obviously love, and you guys sound like you do a really good job over in Johnson County. I don't think we'd be doing it. We'd be doing it for 26 years if we didn't take care of these sponsors, <laughs> and we appreciate every one of them, and we, we really plug them. Uh, so when you see our sponsorships, our flyers, or whatever, and uh, our folks over in Johnson County or in the Boone area, uh, support them. Absolutely. Tell them you thank them. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. This is great. Be sure to get your cowboy boots on and check out this rodeo. And don't forget your hat. And don't forget your hat. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have one, we'll sell you one when you get in the gate. Oh, I want to tell you about our uh, food vendors. We oh, probably yeah. have. Let's talk about uh, food. That's my favorite. Oh part. gosh, yeah. We probably have. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, our, our food vendor guy tell me the other day. I think we had about 20 different food vendors, and we don't let one do any different from the other. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, funnel cakes, we got barbecue, we got hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, we got whatever whatever you might want in the food line coming in with our vendors, and then we got uh, to keep our kids entertained. We've got uh, pony rides uh, there, and we've also got. Uh, uh, a mechanical bull. You know, you can run that Maybe mechanical bull. Start, we, huh? Maybe I should start on that one first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we got a trailer full of all sorts of Western wear. All right. Well, what a fabulous event. So if you don't have any Western wear, I, I yep. don't. Mm -hmm. But I, if I go, I'm going to have to stop at those yep. Western wear. Yep. Just, I got I, I to look the part if I'm <laughs> going to go. That's exactly right. <laughs> you got to look the part and feel the part. All right. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here, Frank. It was a pleasure. Yes, ma'am. All right. We'll be right back after this.